Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com, and today we're taking a look at a new ROM for your AT&T Galaxy S4 variant device. Please only flash this on AT&T Galaxy S4, as it will not work on any other device, and you'll probably end up in a boot loop. And this will also work on the Canadian variants that are compatible with AT&T, if you guys are wondering. And this ROM is very stock. Um, it has a couple of features, but overall, it's not themed up. It's not nothing crazy. Uh, so if you're just getting into custom ROMs, this is an excellent ROM for you to get a feel of what a custom ROM is without being overwhelmed with all the features and mods and themes and all that. Um, this is a good starter ROM, I believe, in my opinion. Um, it's a great features, and one is App2SD, which I will be showing you an example of. Um, so as you can see, um, all the blower is removed, which is a great plus as it does take up a lot of room. On this form, you can actually install the whole blower package if you want to get that blower back, uh, which I have no idea why you would want to. <laughs> um, also, one thing I did see was you have mobile data. Now, I can't say for sure if stock a uh, no custom ROM had that, but I know I'm pretty sure it did not have mobile data. So I'm pretty sure the developer did add that into there, which is a very nice touch as I hate going into data usage right away. Um, if we go into about device, we can see the Android version and all that. Um, so we go scroll down right there, build number, kernel version, all that good stuff right there. Um, if you guys are wondering what Android version I'm running on, as this video may get uh, dated as I go on later on. Uh, but if we go into accounts, or actually more actually, um, and application manager, um, I'm going to explain app to SD, which is very useful for all you people who are very limited and have a full storage and your internal data. And now let's say I'm going to use an example for Temple Run 2. And now see it says move to SD card. And what that means is you can move all your data, all your game data, all your application data to your external SD card. So currently it's on my internal SD card which is taking up uh, roughly 31 megabytes. Um, so if I tap on move to SD card, it'll take a few seconds just because I have a slow SD card. Um, that's what I think the problem is. I have a class 1. <laughs> Only cost about five bucks to get, um, I think, four gigs. So, or I think eight gigs even. Um, so it's very cheap uh, from China. So it's very cheap. So it did take a few seconds, as you can see. Now, as you can see, uh, SD card app it gives you thirty two point five three megabits. So it actually took that all that data from your internal and moved it to your external. And this will work for any application you download from the Play Store. It will not work with stock applications. So if I try Google Play Store. Um, as you can see, you cannot choose move to SD card, or if I do Google Play services, of course, that wouldn't work either. So only applications you download externally, you know, from APKs, or if you download it from the Google Play Store, then it will only work to transfer to your uh, micro SD card, which can save you a ton of room. Um, that's my favorite feature, by the way. Um, we, also, you have a quick uh, menu closing kill app. Uh, so if you hold on the menu button, it actually kills it. So kill camera. Uh, if we go in Play Store and hold on the menu, it automatically kills it, which is very convenient if you're not going to be going app back to the app um, later on. It saves you a lot of time than actually holding down this feature and then swiping it away over and over and over again. Um, you also have Wi-Fi tethering. Uh, I have not tried this as I am running on a T-Mobile SIM card, um, so I can't really try it out. Um, so if we go into tethering and portable hotspot, you can go and turn this on and actually uh, have free Wi-Fi tether, so you don't have to keep paying the greedy AT&T carriers. And one of the last features I want to show you was the, um, it comes with stock Android keyboard. And now by default, it came with TouchWiz, at least for my version of this ROM. Um, but you can just go into settings and change it to stock Android. So you can just easily get stock Android. And it's come with swipe, so you can easily, you know, do whatever you want. <laughs> or even, you know, just scribble on it for fun. <laughs> um, but that was my quick review of GoldenEye ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 AT&T variant. Please don't flash us on other variants except the AT&T or the compatible, uh, Canadian variants as it will not work. If you did enjoy this quick ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe by clicking it in the bottom left hand corner as that does really help me a lot. So as you support me and that really does help me grow my channel. You don't know how much that means to me when you do subscribe and like my videos. Um, it shows that you are supporting me and just at the end of the day, it shows that I should keep making videos for you guys. And um, thank you guys very much for always subscribing and liking, commenting, and always giving me good feedback too. Um, but, and if you guys run into a problem installing this ROM, or if you have a question about a feature of this ROM or anything like that, drop a comment down below, or hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, my three preferred social networks for you to get in contact with me. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.